Right, welcome back to Bullet Catcher Gaming. This is, of course, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, today's video is all about PvP, Ghost War, and all of the things that we need to happen into the PvP mode. And for this, we have some very special guests. Um, first of all, there's going to be a link to their channel down in the description. Uh, they're also linked to the front of our channel. Uh, it is the uh, Murder Hornets. They are a PvP team. Um, I'm going to introduce you to them now. They've got a lot more experience than me regards to Ghost War. I've only dabbled once or twice. Um, so they are the best people to uh, ask what needs to happen in Ghost War. So first of all, I will let them introduce themselves. Hiya. Well, I'm Steph. I'm the leader, the fearless leader of the Murder Hornets. We're a squad that just came together. That because meeting people in lobbies and people being fed up of circle runners and strifers and between teamwork and have coordination and having a microphone, it seems to work and so we all stuck together. And as the, the label, the Murder Hornets came out, we thought, oh yeah, that sounds really cool for a tactical squad. So we took the name because it was very funny. And so um, here we are today as the Murder Hornets. We've just passed our first year as a squad. We've got over 30 to 40 members currently, which are active. Fantastic. Um, and that that's basically it. We are the Murder Hornets. We play a lot of PvP. And we're just a team that come together. We're not the best players. We don't profess to be the best players. But we certainly have the most fun. And the most important thing is, is that you have the knowledge of playing this mode over and over um, all the maps. So yeah. that's why I thought you were the best people to, to talk to about it. So um, who else do we have on um, other than Steph? Okay, we have Gonzo. Gonzo, would you like to introduce yourself? Yep, um, my name's Tom. Uh, I'm from Belgium. Um, I play under the name Gonzo. And I've met Steph um, as a random, I guess. Uh, I joined in on like her, and I think it was um, Adder. And like from from the first moment it just clicked like the way the way they play like the way they treat each other the way they communicate and that was something that i was really lacking um before uh joining other people's uh teams as a random um most of the times nobody wanted to talk or they were like in a private chat party and yeah since then i've been a member of the murder hornets and since then, I've been enjoying uh, the game really hard. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. And so the last person on the chat, we also have, um, it's Dragonborn, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hello, my name, my gamer tag is Dragonborn. Uh, my real name is Hussein I'm from Lebanon. Uh, first time I met the Murder Hornets, uh, I was like searching for a group where I can play some PvP because especially... I like to play with a team because you know it, everything is easier when you have somebody to have your back telling you where your enemies are uh, I joined up for the six month now probably so the first time uh, I joined I was like going on the Facebook page and searching for a, for a somewhat to play with and then Steph here uh, she like says in comment hey I have a group if you want to join I was like okay I'm down and thing led to the other while playing and then I found some of the best teammates and now I'm really proud to call them my other family fantastic that's really great so that's who that's obviously we've introduced you now to some members of the uh, team from the murder hornets and uh, and obviously it's fearless leader Steph so let's start then with the current the current build of uh ghost war what do you think of it um how do you think it is in its current state right now what how do you what do you think of it 
Okay, Gonda, would you like to answer this question first? Uh, like Ghost War, the way it is, um, like it's it's not it's not like it's really not bad, but like Circle Runners, that's that's something that uh, really needs to be fixed. And like up until now, um, yeah, we've encountered like like a couple of bugs, like not not many noticeable ones. I like mentionable ones. I mean, but oh. like one of the ones that I've seen a lot of people talk about, and uh, and I will give a quick shout out to Misadventure, who is in Delta Company, who is always trying to uh, get the PvP uh, improved on behalf of the community. So I'll give her a shout out. Um, one of the ones that she has brought up over and over again is teammates spawning well outside yeah. the uh, the actual kind of battlefield as such, or the map. Is that something yeah. that is continuing? Uh, yeah, like uh, earlier today we had, I, we had that problem. Um, like we all spawned in. And when my teammate went down and I was looking for him, and he was like, I, on my screen, he was like 10.6 kilometers away. And I was completely unable to find his body. And right. that's, um, yeah, like when it happens to your teammates, usually when you open up your map, it'll fix itself, kind of. But like sometimes it also happens with the, anim uh, with, uh, with the opposing team. And yeah, that's something they can really take advantage of. Right. Okay. So there, there's some things that need fixing. Um, yeah. And they yeah. and I've they've been around for a long time, haven't they? Some of these issues. Yeah. Yeah. But it 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 doesn't make PvP unplayable. Like, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy PvP. I really enjoy Breakpoint. Um, I'm like I never had any doubt about this being a good game. Um. But they maybe like kind of rushed it a little bit. I think a lot of people would agree with that overall. Maybe the game came out too early, uh, needed a bit more content. I mean, this is the the issue with live service games now as a whole. That very rarely do they seem ready. I mean, I still think Breakpoint did a better job than maybe the last Battlefield game, which seemed really yeah. lacking. Um, you know, like, at, even, at launch. Even with even with Wildlands, they had like uh, one year or two year. I had two years of, of, of ongoing updates and before before everything got fixed in Wildlands. That's true. That's very true. And to be fair, recently playing Wildlands, I've discovered some bugs that never used to be there. Yeah. So that will happen. But um, so overall, you think the current build is good? There obviously are issues. Um, the do you think that it is? Um, it's obviously one of the criticisms that it does get is that it is not updated. Um, you know, when you get the patch notes come out for new events, things like that, there's very rarely anything in there for PvP. Is that frustrating as uh, PvP players? I find that very, very frustrating. Um, so one of the things that we definitely want um, is a mechanic in the game that was in Wildland PvP and it was called suppression. You could take, you could blur people's visions if they were running out in the open by shooting at them, not necessarily shooting them, but by shooting by them. You could blur their vision. I believe bringing the suppression system back from Wildland into the PvP could single-handedly stop people from circle running and using things like the strife glitch. You see, and we need new maps. The put when they added the new map, um, what's that new map called? Oh, Gonzo? Riverbank. Riverbank. Um, that map, um, it had no imagination. It was just a sniper fest, and so um, yeah, there's so that. many more bases on here that they could use for PvP, like the abandoned barracks. The abandoned barracks, if you've ever been there, would make a fantastic PvP map. So regarding uh, regarding the, the the PvP kind of in its current state, 
as such. Do you think um, do you think there's anything from Wildlands that should have been in this PvP, or do you think there's anything they could learn from it or change or what? I mean, how much better is Ghost War on Wildlands than Breakpoint? Well, Ghost Recon Wildlands, in that Ghost War, they have different game modes, like they have um, where you've got to rescue a hostage. You've got other game modes where you've got to, like, up do uplink and hack the tower and stuff like that. And so um, I find this game is in game modes in PvP, haven't got much. Okay, that's fair enough. What about the um, what about the classes? Uh, do you think there are certain classes? Do people tend to use certain classes more than others? Are there are there some that are too overpowered, or do you think there's some that need to be have some work done to them to balance them? That's something that they already have fixed. Um, like it, at first, you could uh, heal yourself like um, outside the circle. And a lot of people um, started using either the medic or the assault class um, because of the extra health and the med packs. And then you could pick up like four, uh, four stim packs, and like they just waited out, and they let the circle become smaller, and they remained outside the circle, healed themselves, and they just waited you out. And that's something that they already fixed. You can't heal yourself anymore if you're outside the circle. Okay, well that that makes sense. That that those kind of changes. So they have, and where have these been gradual changes? Um, are, have you noticed, say, for example, across the last six months or so, like the second half of this game's life cycle, that they've done implemented more, or has it started to really thin out with the kind of support that they're giving? So by fixing some of the bugs, they shown that they care. But it's like fixing like one dot out of a million. So basically, the community is asking for a lot, for a lot of things. Some of them are feasible. The other are like a bit too much. And we already know like with this pandemic, uh, developers are facing a lot of hard time because sometimes they're on lockdown. They have to work from their houses. We get it. But like... Uh, some problems like uh, that really hurt all other players are like circle runners, some people Strike using uh, uh, circle runners, uh, like uh, lag switchers, it's called. Um, yeah. Like uh, that made a lot of like the community to forget about PvP since a lot of people are cheating. Oh, some people are cheating and yeah, it ruins the, f the game and the lack of maps like uh, it's also a problem and there's one thing like the trading, like when you when you're facing an opponent and then you trade shots with him, like <laughs> it, sh it should be like worked on <laughs> Okay. To be so just just quickly then. So you you talk about um, you talk about the fact that there was a million things uh, as you were kind of saying there. So the obviously I know you've talked about some of these things and you say some of them were harder to fix. Do you think that um, they should try and concentrate on the ones they can fix and then maybe in the next game it would be better to implement some of these bigger things that you're talking about? Yeah, so let's take a, a look at Wildlands PvP. What made it really good and uh, different from other type of PvPs, uh, like let's say another franchise. So for example, like you have uh, the scout, you have the sniper, uh, you have medic, you have predators, like different classes, and each one has its own gun so you have to choose which one and coordinate with your team that was really good because if the team has diversity it can work but like over here you have uh, Panther Panther was like really 
uh, devastating in this game. Like okay. a player yeah. can get, like a player can get like uh, an Ezreal drone and then start bombing and scanning and like. So yeah, basically, it's it's it's, it's, it's over it's over it'll be o it's overpowered. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fair enough. So, uh, do you, yeah. do you have a list of uh, what were the things? So, for example, if you could ask Ubisoft right now, give us four or five things that would completely change this mode around, that would make more people want to play the mode. Uh, which would bring, you know, just more players to it in general and get people to just even just check it out once or twice. Maybe they just avoid it. A bit like me, really. Um, okay, well, I think we'll all take one answer on each. Um, firstly, can I just introduce Everardo? He's this other founder of the Mad Hornets. Yep, he's now joined us. How's he going? Hello, welcome. Oh, man, what's up? Yogi. Pleased to have you on. Um, well, is... perhaps perhaps as Everardo has just joined us, he he might want to answer that last point first. Make his point first, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, get, get him involved. So, what 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 some of the things or a few things, say one each, that you could implement right now, which you believe would be a game changer. There's a uh, there's a few little things, but. Um... Well, at, at first, when I was playing Wildlands, I felt that, you know, uh, it'd be better if everybody would be able to use whatever kind of weapon they would want, because uh, it was restricted to the classes in Wildlands, so, uh, in here, you, you could, but you know, I'm after playing this for a while, I feel like um, it kind of be better maybe if we went back to the classes from Wildlands, and maybe just let each player uh, choose one primary weapon and then one sidearm and then uh, I don't know just to kind of make it a little bit more realistic I guess but uh, but um, other than that man we I feel like uh, they could just add more maps and I, I feel like they haven't really been paying uh, much attention to PvP like they did in Wildlands so I don't know yeah, that's, I would that's ask the for the suppression system Yes, the suppression system, exactly. Yeah. That will, yeah. That's what you were talking about earlier, was it? Yeah. Yeah. I believe that would solve all of the PvP problems with circle runners and strife glitches. Do you, do you think some of the things you were just mentioning a second ago, um, regards to Wildlands, do you think a lot of that is down to the fact that maybe Wildlands was released and the PvP came later, so they kind of... Obviously, the Wildlands was kind of finished as such, and uh, I imagine the DLC stuff was probably nearly finished, if not finished, when the game released. So they had time to get the developers to kind of work on the PvP, just the PvP. So that's why it's better. And or do yeah. you think do you think that had a lot to do with it? Whereas this was put on at the beginning, which, to be fair, I think it should be there at the beginning. Um, you know. Um, yeah, just, it, it feels, it just feels like they haven't really put much attention to PvP, or, like, they they barely released, like, what, one new map since, since it yeah. began, so, yeah. That... Well, four new maps. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not a lot, the, is it? Um, the one thing that we like to do is that we like to coordinate as a team using microphones. So that includes spot, trying to spot the enemy first and so then moving slowly using tactical movement and teamwork the way the game was meant to be played. But um, I find that sometimes, there's, even now that you've just added loads of rewards to the PvP, what about those of us that have already done all the missions for the PvP? Do you're talking about you're, you're you're talking about the so um the the PvP rewards that have now been offered to for uh, to other players who don't play PvP as such. Is that what you mean? Um, no, no, no. They've they've added other rewards for the oh, PvP, I see. Yes, which it said in the patch notes, and I'm just thinking for those of us that have done 
all of the missions that were available for the PvP. Um, what? How do we get those rewards? Right, I see what you mean. So, what do you actually think about? Are, are you were you annoyed as PvP players that players who don't play PvP have been given access to the rewards? Did that bother you, or were you not were you not worried too much worried about that? That didn't really bother me. It bothered me when they started giving away things that you could only get from the raid. So what about, for example, I, I, this is, I know this is not entirely PvP, but on that point, I, I've said in a previous video before what I think there's a balance. I understand that, you know, I've had people say to me, I just don't have time to play the raid. Or when I've tried to play it, I don't have friends who own the game. So I've had to go into public matchmaking where I've had teammates kill me and things like that. It's frustrating. I mean... Obviously, those people could try and find a, a better group or, or find a you know raiding group to, to, to play with. But what about, yeah. for example, the Coblin? What about if it was, would you be, would you have an issue with it if it was offered, say, in the store to purchase and they made it different? So it was a slightly different variant of that, of the Coblin. Would that, would, I think that would be a way to keep people happier about, a Coblin being available outside of the raid if by doing a variant of it? Um, I think so. I don't really know if um, bothered or annoyed is the is, is the correct uh, like the correct way to say it, but they've taken like every every bit of like kind of prestige that like the raids and, and, and PvP had. They just took it away. And so I think they need to bring back ghost mode because like ghost mode in Wildlands, you could get the exoskeleton. Now there was no other way to get an exoskeleton other than to complete ghost mode. And if you had it in gold, that meant you brought got to tier one and you couldn't buy that from the store, even if you tried. And I think that really separated for a lot of us um, who actually completed ghost mode, who was patient enough to be able to sit around, communicate, work as a team. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have, uh, we've done a recent video about features wanting the game and ghost mode comes up a lot. People like the permadeath. They enjoyed that mode on Wildlands. And, and I do think if we get a year two, um, that that's something that they should definitely be looking at, hopefully. I would hope to think that they would go and add that um, mode in there. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get back on to the kind of PvP side of things. Um, so th if you, there are any more ideas of things that you want added? You said about maps and uh, some of the modes. Yes. Anything else? Obviously, we talked about earlier on about the glitches being fixed. That's kind of uh, obvious. Anything else that you think that would make the mode more interesting? Maybe yeah, a little bit. Well, yeah. I think. I'm um, sorry, Gondo. No, go um, ahead. I was just going to say, um, if you could have more players, so say if you could have six players mm -hmm. in your session, I mean, for, um, to add the option to have task forces back, because see, like um, for us, we have to change our PSN account to the MH to show that we're in a squad. Whereas in Wildlands, you could it would show that you were in a task force. Yes, that's very true. It did. And the ranking system. Yeah, totally. Like, uh, it should be a, a clan, a clan mode type thing, so that so everybody can register, can kind of like register with what clan they are with. And... Yes, yeah, so then you can have clan wars in actual tournaments, like clans versus clans. That would be you great. Can display your badges. Uh, um, you see, I, I'm one. I'm sorry. Uh, let me just uh, say something quick. I'm wondering what's happening with that other island, and I kind of had the idea like they could do a battle royale mode also, or they could just use that island for clan, for a clan wars type type deal. That'd be pretty awesome too. Well, I, I was actually just... on... go for it. Go on. Uh, so. So, oh, sorry uh, for interrupting, but there was a point about this, like, mercenaries, when it came out on Wildlands, was, like, I liked the concept, 
uh, I managed to get on only one match, but I really enjoyed it. Like, like Everardo just said, like it would be cool to have on this uh, on this island a battle royale, but like make it up to twenty people, and maybe the idea of squads. Maybe we have like a friendly competition between friends or other players or other groups. Like it would be bring back like the communities something new something better and i presume if they were to put a lot of options as well into that so for example if you said 20 players you could have a mode where you had 10 versus 10 you could have a mode where it was everyone for themselves you could have a mode where it was uh, five teams of four uh you know you'd be able to change it up a lot I think it would bring in. I do think people would be interested in it. I mean, there's. Um, I've had a few people recently comment and say, "How about this idea?" And I, I, because I don't play Ghost War very often, you might say to me, "This would never work." But I'm interested to see what you think. So a few people said, "What about if you were to use the whole island, or at least a much larger part of the island, and you had?" bigger you could have bigger teams for example or multiple teams and objectives were set up that you had to go and do before the other teams and you know you had to go and disarm a bomb or whatever you know you could come up with anything you want really but um that sounds like a perfect dream really okay do you remember do you remember the game mag uh from playstation 3 yeah yeah and that's exactly what that was, what you're describing. And that, to have a mode like that in, in Ghost Recon, that would be amazing if they used that whole island just for that. Like what you're yeah, saying? I think, I think Dragon, uh, and I think uh, Heather, Heather and you too, Everardo, I think uh, we were talking about that like the other day. Like maybe that it would be, like how awesome it would be if the entire island would be like uh, a big, big war zone. Like the island, some... Uh, some areas, like the entire island, of course, but some areas are like that, that well finished, and and like graphically um, appealing for like a lot of a lot of different stuff, like ways ways to fight. Like you got like um, what Dragon said, uh, the urban areas, like you can like you can clear buildings. Yeah, no, different yeah. Object objectives on the island. It's just, yeah. it's just like mag, like it's just how you were describing it. It would be, it would be perfect. Okay, so anything else that you would um, that you would like to see added into into Ghost War that you could think could bring more players into it? I mean, what is the um, well, how how big do you think the community is for Ghost War? Is there do you struggle to find matches? Uh, do you struggle to find players and? Or, or is it, if I was to jump on right now, for example, would I be able to just jump straight into a match, or do you think I'd have to wait? Or um, my experiences uh, were before the Murder Hornets that the community can be very toxic. Yeah. As as random. Like right. before like, the Murder Hornets, like I regularly got kicked because you're not doing what they want, how they want it, when they want it immediately. Right, and okay. That's like that that but, scares a lot of people away. Yeah, but we don't we don't have problems finding matches at all. Uh in both Wildlands yeah. and in Breakpoint. It's it's pretty surprising like how long both of those I mean, Breakpoint not because it's still new, but Wildlands, it's like it came out in two thousand seventeen. We just played some PvP like a few days ago and like we, we had matches like very quickly. It's still very active. It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's a shame, really, that they didn't. Um, a lot of people have said they wished that kind of Breakpoint was almost an extension of Wildlands in terms of almost like a DLC, and they'd supported Wildlands for three, four years and whilst they built a new game. But I, I'm, I'm hoping that Breakpoint turns out to be the Battlefield hardline of the series, if that makes sense, if that, if yes. anyone, under, in yeah. terms of, it's a nice stopgap, and I really enjoy it, and I like this game, but there's so much I'd like to see implemented into the game that I that, that I don't think will ever happen. That I'd rather them, you know, give us a little bit here and there whilst they make something new where they do implement all these things. 
because obviously if you look at the game before Battlefield Hardline and the game after Battlefield Hardline, they were two decent games. I know some people might say, well, no, they weren't or whatever. And I know that you'll always have some people that will or won't like an experience. But overall, both of those two games, either side of Hardline, were very good. Hardline was okay. I enjoyed it. But it wasn't as good as either of the two, either side of it. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, the, the popular thing right now, what is it? Like Call of Duty Warzone? That's, that's what's booming right now. And uh, like, it wouldn't make sense for them to use that island in, in a similar way for some type of Battle Royale mode or... or or just something like, you know, like what we were saying, like mag. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing is with Breakpoint as well is that because it got a bad reception when it came out, um, it doesn't mean to say that that game is now dead. And I think a lot of people have thought that all the way along. You look at Battlefront 2 and all of the issues that that had when it came out. And mm -hmm. that's a wildly popular game now. Um, members that have just joined the party are M H Kogus. He's oh. one of our he's one of our generals as well. Kogus, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I am Scott. Um, nice to meet you. Hello. And I love the community. I love the people, and that's why I'm here. Fantastic. And um, okay, and this is M H Solo. Um, Solo's recently joined us within the past few months and I'd like him to talk about how he feels about what it was like to join the squad even though we had, it felt like we were an established squad how he felt integrating into the team Solo Yes Would you I... like to introduce yourself? My name is Solo and yeah, I've been on the group for since like October. Recruitment is def definitely needed. We need more recruits. Yeah, we're looking for more recruits so we can coordinate with more people who have got microphones, who want to work as a team, and who are absolutely tired of circle runners and strife glitches. Yes. <laughs> You that see, makes... and that's what we are. That's exactly what we are. We're the squad that came together to battle that with real tactics yeah. as a team. And that's what makes us cool. We're not the best of players, but when we play together, we can be formidable. Sometimes we can own lobbies, like solo specialities with that stone at LMG. <laughs> And he can just take it in the R&D center. He can take that building and he can hold that shit down. He's, he's a warrior of a hornet. <laughs> All, um, also, we, Thank you. Thank say, you. If, say if you get to call... Well, if you get four kills and you kill all four by yourself, we call that a hornet sting. But say if you kill all eight in a game, we call that a Hornet Massacre. Now, that's actually quite rare. I can there's imagine. Only, there's only about four of us with a massacre. There's me. Solo got ten kills in one game the other day. <laughs> wow. All with a stoner. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. He's a beast with that. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, one time, one time we were like playing in R and D, and I I get a kill, but turns out like the whole team was behind him. I was like, "Hey guys, they're all in here." The next thing I see was Solo coming in, started spraying, manipulate them around the building. Uh, <laughs> he gets two kills, revives me, and then finish off the the round. <laughs> the rest. And the only thing you heard the entire game was, this is my building. <laughs> hey, Red, where's the Red? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't paid Red this one. Uh, so, uh, yeah, in the background, we're going to be showing some highlights of, uh, of, of your matches and uh, stuff like that. So um, hopefully people have been enjoying that whilst they've... Uh, whilst they've been watching so um let's let's kind of we talked about the modes what you want to see in it what what doesn't work what does work um so just tell me a little bit more about the murder hornets um 
how do you kind of go about arranging you know to, do you, how do you, you said you talked about tournaments how do you arrange your tournaments where do people go where's the best place for people if they want to get involved with a friendly uh, group like yourselves how do they go about contacting you uh, all that kind of stuff if you want to fill people in of where to come and what to expect yeah we're just kind of like this ragtag group of people from all over the world and um if you if you want to find us, uh, we do have a YouTube page and also a Twitter page set up. At uh, I believe the the Twitter tag is mh at mh mh gaming twenty twenty I think. Okay, we'll put yeah, that in the description search. as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you can just search uh, the Murder Hornets Ghost Recon Squad and uh, but we we pride ourselves in uh, like really trying to play fair and trying to be very tactical and uh, just having a good time like whether in uh, PBE or PVP we're always everybody here is always looking for for games and uh, so just quickly do you yeah. mostly jump on against random people or do you arrange yeah. with other groups to to have like uh, you know battles with other Yeah ones? this is Yeah this I'm is the thing it's uh, like the, the thing is is it yeah at we're we're, moment, uh, we're, we're always stands. facing off against squads. Hold on, so let me let me uh, yeah. get in on this quick. Yeah. Like, we're always we're always trying to face off against squads when we can. But the thing is, is like in in Ghost War, in Breakpoint, like there's there's no way to like arrange that in the game. Like you always have to either message somebody through PSN or try to find them elsewhere and message them. So I I, th I think that's another one of the changes that they could implement too. Is like. Uh, like into a clan mode type deal like for you know these clans to be registered within the game and to be able to communicate with each other and contact each other and organize tournaments within the game that'd be that'd be pretty cool yeah sorry good the one thing that i find is that um because when you're in pvp you actually come across a lot of these squads and you actually find you spend a lot of time running in circles and using exploits like the strife glitch and so um, when you come up against them i find you need that teamwork and when you actually go in with randoms you find that sometimes you get good games but we do want to be able to arrange those matches and to be able to have those matches. And I think those matches should be held by you, be soft and judged. Most of the people that we're all in here, we met just playing the game with having a mic. Wildlands, there was always people with mics. Breakpoint doesn't seem to have as much of that, but we all just met each other pretty much randomly for the most part. So, I mean, yeah, contacting the Facebook would be good too, but yeah, I think if you just play the game and play with a mic, you'll run into good people a lot of the time. Yeah. So, do you, can I can I just ask, can I ask one more question before we move on? So, the, earlier on, you said that the community is quite toxic when you play. Um, what options are there to deal with that at the moment? What like do you just have to put up with it, or do I mean you can you can report it and. Um, but we're not sure if it gets looked into or anything. But I think one thing that they need to look at is adding the idea. It does say in the T, T and Cs about if you use certain things and exploits. Now I think the circle running counts as an exploit. And so I think when people are reported for cheating, they should look for people using the strife glitch and people using um, lag switching as well. Because I've got a video on YouTube of someone running in front of me and his legs didn't move once. It's right. sliding on oh, nice. ice. Yeah, he was just sliding. <laughs> it was like the Casper slide. I've seen them on their belly doing that too. Yeah. Sliding. And it's just a number of glitches, yeah. A number of yeah. different bugs and stuff. And that they they are a lot of these bugs are found solely in PvP. So it's not like you jump out of PvP, go into the main game, and you go, oh look, there's that same bug that I've had in no. PvP. They are solely based into PvP. 
Most of them, I would yeah. say. The, the the PVE's got its own kind of glitches, like little minor. And no suppression is a big issue. I think uh, Wildlands did that really right, as having a, su- a real suppression system. When you're getting shot at, it feels like you're getting shot at. You can't move. Uh, things are loud, and it's just chaotic. And I think yeah, it's... It had- that adds to the realism of it. Yeah. Too. In this, you'll be shooting at somebody with an LMG, and he'll just pop up and shoot you in the face with his gun, but it's like he should have been suppressed. But I I'll think that you. would be a good addition to it. I see what you mean. Okay. Well, um, does anyone have anything else they would like to add to the conversation, something they wanted to mention about PvP uh, before we finish up, something that they wanted to kind of get off their chest about it or something they didn't have a chance to mention? Yeah, we would really like to see that island be put to some use. I, I don't know. What do you think, Bully Catcher? What do you yes. think they're doing with that with that island? Um, well, I, I, I believe that it's going to be... I mean, if you look back from... I'm going back to what they said initially. They said that we we're going to get multiple raids at the beginning of this game's yeah. life cycle. And I think because of what you were mentioning a minute ago about the Division 2 mechanics that were in the game, I think there were a lot of voices were heard saying, why is this here? We don't want this. They don't want gear score. I believe, and this is literally my own opinion, I don't have any basis of fact on this, I just believe that they went, okay, people don't want this, they want it to run more like Wildlands run. I don't think you're going to see any raids, but I do believe that that island was either going to be one raid island or split into two raid islands. Like, yeah, split down the I middle. think it was going to be two. Um, there's also another island at the bottom right-hand corner, a small one. Um, that could just be part of the map. Um, it might not be anything, but it's definitely there. Um, and... That could have been maybe another smaller raid island, maybe similar to Golem Island. Um, it, I'm If they do a year two, which obviously we're all hoping for, then I'd like to see new missions, the Mower Island opened up. I'd like to see PvP, even though I don't play it that much. Like, you guys are still in the same community as me. We still all play, do you know what I mean? What Depending on what mode you play. I'd like to see them do something with PvP, give you some more maps from Murrah Island, or give you something on Murrah yeah. Island as well. Um, it, yeah, because they got enough. It, they, they got enough room in this to bless us with more maps. And Absolutely. there's so many maps. You, this whole map it has loads of different maps they could make for PvP. I don't understand why they don't just cookie cut them and give them to us. Yes, yes. That is a, such an excellent point because the maps that I've seen and the ones that I've played on previously, they're obviously already pre-existing uh, places mm-hmm. within the map. So yep. I don't understand why, for example, why they couldn't turn around and, and put out to the community, we are going to make two new maps. What would you like? And you could go around the map and go, do you know what? We really like this building. Oh, we really mm-hmm. like this location. And you could kind of vote on it or put your at least put your ideas forward and say, this would make a great PvP map, this part of the map right here. Um, Abandoned and, barracks. Yeah, that I mean... That my first place. But I'd think about, because it's got levels up and down, it's got lots of cover zones. Yeah, okay. That's a really good idea, though, like some kind of survey for everybody to... Uh... Yeah, no, it, they would like to it would be there. so easy for Ubisoft to implement that. I mean, I, I would think so. I'm not sure, but... Well, the, the assets exist. It's not like... Yeah. The, a lot of the issues that, that time constraints will be on creating new assets. If the assets exist, okay, there would have to be some work involved, but it would be far less than creating a map from scratch. Um, any other points that anyone wanted to make? Would anybody um, like to take it? Uh, I'll say my last thing. Follow up oh, yeah. uh, the reporting a little bit more. Like, mm-hmm. I, I really, I really get the impression that you can report like as many people as you want. Nothing happens with it. More, more, yeah. more PvP maps. Uh, yeah. We've been noticing that more clans are starting to come up. Like some of the randoms that we play against, we've been noticing them like just forming other different squads. So, so a, a new type of clan mode where everybody can register and 
we can find ways to communicate with each other and set up games or something. That'd be nice. That would be and, cute. And that and that island, like just that that idea of some kind of mode where many uh, multiple groups can be dropped in and then complete different objectives and play against each other. Like the potential is all there. It the was, thing, it, it the thing so is, with what you're saying. Sorry to interrupt you. That's so, the, what you're saying there. The good thing is, is that they could open that island for mission-based things for PVE, and there's no reason why they then can't use that island for PvP at the same time by implementing something like that. Um, yep. th you know, so it's not like they are. Oh, well, you, if we do that for PvP, we can't use it for PVE. There's no reason why they couldn't use the same asset. Uh, for, they use for, for of island for both. Exactly. You know? Yeah, hundred percent. So there's no reason why they couldn't do that. So I think that would work really well. Sounds like it would make a lot of people happy, and I also think it would. A lot of PVE players who don't jump into Ghost War might go, "Oh, do you know yeah. what? If it's a bit more open, and I get to, you know, get, if I want, I can jump in a vehicle, or I could do this. If it was a large area, or I can, I can oh, actually. That would be so fun. Do you know what I mean? Th that kind of thing. I think it would bring a lot. You, I think you'd see it get quite busy. Um, I think a lot of people and, would be interested in it, and more uh, more different match types like extraction from wildlands too, and in uh, wildlands. Yeah. And sorry, I was interrupting. In wildlands, at the end of the match, you had your victory pose. I feel like we've been deprived of our victory pose. You know, <laughs> the best way. Yeah, true. <laughs> Real dragon yeah. rights. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> PvP, if you win, you get bragging rights. That's that's how it works. Yeah. And um, it's like, like these stolen the bragging thing. rights. It's, yeah, I that is a huge thing. Even I think about that almost every day. I would be like, I wish the enemies could see me at the end. You know, just like yeah, <laughs> it just feels like, good. It makes the victory that much better. You know, five, five seconds to hear you. Yeah. In Wildlands, in Wildlands, uh, there was like this pose. It's called the karate, and I really liked it when I got it because I like like I practice in real life, so <laughs> I really enjoyed it and like to pose as a karate like at the end. Yeah, they had like, the boxing one too. I like that because I box. <laughs> no, I always had that one. Like I, have, I, I like the one with this. the hands on the hips, like standing proud. <laughs> we <laughs> we, we all back. loved that. Though. We all loved those. And I don't understand why they wouldn't just keep something that they already have in there. But Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me either. Considering the game was built on the same engine, uh, I know that Breakpoint mm -hmm. was a variation of the Wildlands engine. It wasn't identical, but it was still built on the same engine. So I don't understand why they can't just literally copy and paste a lot of this stuff over. I mean, people are asking why are all the content, the Wildlands gear, for example, um, why can't they just chuck it all in the store or put yes. it on? Like, um, and I don't understand that either. And that's something that I've been trying to get an answer for for ages. Um, because then you're going to be having Wildlands too. Yes, yes. Well, that's what well, that's what most people want, I, I presume. Um, and obviously, hopefully, they would. Uh, I'd rather them take their time with it and um, and not rush it out. Even if it takes another year and a half, I'd rather them have the time and for sure make a, make yeah. a really good game. I was um, willing to wait for the PS5 for this one, even. Yeah, don't rush it out. Because the thing is, it ends up getting a bad name, uh, which Breakpoint yeah. had a bad name at the beginning. The reviews were not this, good. Um, they were awful. Game, they, were Recon, they were bad. was never going to be a competitor for, like, Call of Duty. Because it, it was always above Call of Duty. It was a different level of tactical game. Open World Explorer. You had to think. You actually had to use your brain to do it. You see, whereas with Call of Duty, everything's done for you. It's guided. Well, Call of Duty, there's, 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 there is skill in Call of Duty, but there's also a lot of luck. I mean, I, I, I sometimes yeah. play Call of Duty, and the amount of times I've, I've gone on a four or five kill streak with people spawning in front of me. And in a way, that's not really fair, is it? it that shouldn't happen like that. It's, you know, get spawning, moving two, two, two feet fr in front of you, um, two oh, yards in front of yeah. you, being shot in the back. It's not fun. Yeah. And it, it's frustrating. And I don't understand how so many people put up with it because there's nothing worse than spawning and being killed instantly. There's no skill in that at all. Anyone yeah. can that's shoot. That. That's yeah. Oh, you're talking about modern warfare, the spawn system. 
I yeah. think if yeah. the, if the Sorry, developers go back and they play Advanced Warfighter One and Two, and then play Splinter Cell Blacklist, and then play Wildlands all in successive order, then you'll know what we want. We and want and can I can I add another game? Can I add another game to that list? Can I add yeah. a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of SOCOM as well? Yes. So, yes. yes. Because That's the biggest yes. one, I think. Uh, it's this is, definitely this is the closest thing that we have to SOCOM. Is, is we do one hundred percent Metal Gear, you know. And all I'm hoping is is that those rumours that won't stop going away turn out to be true, and that Guerrilla Games have been working on the new SOCOM for the last five and a half years. And uh, it's a fo- supposedly a photorealistic four-team uh, game, and it supposedly is even going to come out in this year, but the end of this year. Yeah. So let's just hope that yeah. those rumours are true. Um, but in that case, if that game turns out to be fantastic and it is that is a real thing, then the next Ghost Recon can't afford It'll to rush to itself good. out. It's going to have yeah. to be good. It's Otherwise, put pressure on Ubisoft to it will. do better. A hundred percent, and in a way, that's not a bad thing. Um, so, I, I'm, I mean, I'm very waiting with bated breath for that. Let's hope that a that it does happen and uh, gives you something else to play whilst they're um, whilst they're building the new game. If they're building a new game, of course, they might say, mm-hmm. "Well, this one didn't do that well, so let's forget it." Uh, I hope, certainly hope not. I really don't. Be so disappointing. Uh, I think it would also be disappointing if we get told. Actually, there is no year two, and that live event, oh, that was it. I, I mean, would, that will be very dev- That would be very devastating, I think, to Ubisoft's reputation, too, and for Ghost Recon. Exactly. Um, 100%. I Whereas think Ubisoft need to bring Red Storm, the original developers, back, so then they can at least consult over the game when it's being developed. Yeah. Because they knew what Ghost Recon was. They made Ghost Recon. Now look at the way Red Storm cleaned up Division 2 from how it begun. Look at it now. The graphics look astounding. Now, that's all they need to do is bring Red Storm in. And they'll know how what to do because they know the storyline. Ghost Recon used to be about, like political unrest you were defending embassies political from fiction, air yeah. attacks mm. and, and tanks you were blowing up bridges cutting off supplies and stuff this is the type of stuff that you were doing and I, I feel like we can't blow bridges up anymore I feel like uh, like we, we, we don't have tanks I mean we have APCs but that's not a tank with no. tracks that says I'm going that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, if they yeah. bring back, like, original tanks, uh, like, uh, the Merkava or the, like, the Ibram, that would be perfect. Like, or some Russian tanks, if you're, uh, let's say... P90. P90, yeah. P90. That would be oh. really good. That would make perfect sense. That would make perfect sense. Anyway, um, we, we go on. Sorry, if you finish your point, then we'll we'll wrap it up. Uh, something else they can get in like the future Ghost Recon, or maybe in like if we're getting a year two, uh, if we can control like some checkpoints, like in Far Cry games, that would be perfect. Yeah, a lot of people have said that recently. Actually, to be able to control something and hold it would be quite good. I think uh, make a bit more replayability as well. If you some of the enemy tried to take it back as well, I think that could like work. Like the division. Yes, yeah. yes, we need hundred exactly. percent more yeah. enemies. And the division yes. system would be great. The replace. I thought when you would take a base in this that they would be replaced by walls or something. Like I thought it would get harder each time you took the base, but yeah. they didn't uh, do that. Bought a nemesis system. Where they can like increase the defenses once they recapture it, it will make it harder. You know, like challenge the players more. Yes, I see what you mean. Anyway, right, we're going to wrap that up. 
Um, we have been going on for quite a while. Hopefully everyone found that quite informative. Uh, if you have any comments that you want to drop below regards to PvP, what you think should be in PvP, what you'd like to see changed, uh, if you want to talk about glitches, anything. If you want to reach out to the Murder Hornets, check out their uh, YouTube channel. Um, the link is in the description. You, like I said earlier, you've been watching their footage uh, whilst we've been talking. Um, so if you like what you see, head on over there, check them out. Um, and uh, yeah, go over, subscribe, and uh, maybe you could join the Murder Hornets down the line. And uh, thank you everybody from the Murder Hornets, all of you for jumping on. Thank you. Uh, no, thank, thank you. you. No, appreciate it. No, you're very welcome. Thanks for having us. Not a problem. Um, Big fan, right. you do really good work. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Okay, take care everyone, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, thanks. Bye. Bye.